Hi, welcome to the Retirement Railroad. I'm Steve, and uh, I'm just here waiting on the uh, mail train. Oh, I think it's coming. Let's see. Our next arrival will be the Union of uh, Union Pacific, City of Los Angeles. City of Los Angeles ran between uh, uh, L.A. and uh, Chicago via Nevada. Utah, Wyoming, and uh, Nebraska, Central, North, Central Iowa, and Northern Illinois. She comes. All right, let's see if there's any mail for us today on the city of Los Angeles. the Union Pacific City of Los Angeles what did it drop off for us well this one uh, came uh, from uh, Las Vegas Nevada okay so let's see what we got from Las Vegas ah, we got some uh, single pole, single throw uh, switches. The type I use to isolate uh, different sidings and track. Um, and I've got them for some areas over uh, in the lift out. I want to uh, isolate, be able to isolate uh, the track at uh, Woody's. And I want to be able to isolate the track at the upcoming uh, grocery distribution center. Uh, and then uh, I also want to isolate some of the places in the Viola yard. So. That's what these are for. But that's not the only thing I got off of the city of Los Angeles. Now, keep in mind, uh, the railroads carried the mail, uh, had contracts to carry the mail for a long time, and uh, some they would pick up, you know, at the major stops like Las Vegas. Uh, the city of, train in the city of Los Angeles would run from LA uh, to Las Vegas, and would go up through uh, uh, Nevada, Utah, I believe it was Ogden, where the Union Pacific Lines would uh, cut east through uh, uh, the Evanston subdivision and, and uh, uh, across through Cheyenne and uh, into Omaha. And in Omaha, Union Pacific didn't have trackage rights into Chicago. But what happened was they had revenue sharing with the Chicago Northwestern. And uh, so they used the Chicago Northwestern lines. Uh, most often pulled by uh, motor power of, of the Chicago Northwestern and bring it across northern Illinois uh, in, uh, through the uh, uh, Geneva subdivision and on into uh, Chicago at Union Station. So, um, but uh, other than the major stops along the way such as Las Vegas and Ogden in Cheyenne and all Lincoln and 
I don't know if we went to Lincoln or not, but Omaha, most definitely. And across uh, Iowa, uh, what would happen is the RPOs would use a mailbag system. And they throw the uh, mailbags out at the stations and have a hook where they pick up uh, mail from those uh, places without even stopping. Okay. Um, so, from uh, Marion, Iowa, all right, I got this package. And uh, it just so happens to be 180th, not 87th, but close enough, uh, scale Iowa State Cyclone tractor trailer from my alma mater. Okay? So, uh, got that as well today. All right. Well, that's, that's great. Got parts and such. Wait, I hear another train coming. I think we might have some more mail. I think we've got another mail train coming uh, around. Huh, this one seems to be on a uh, uh, commuter train, what uh, commonly referred to in the Chicagoland area as a dinky. Right, because in 1957, uh, the Chicago Northwestern Railroad pioneered the use of double-deck commuter cars. Well, the Burlington uh, was right on their heels and, and uh, joined in with their own uh, uh, set of bi-level commuter cars. And uh, typically, they were uh, two to three cars in length because the E8s of the day, E7s and E8s that were pulling them, didn't have the capacity, uh, electrical-wise, uh, for the heaters and lighting for more cars than that. All right. So, shortly as the commuter traffic grew in the uh, Chicago area and the western suburbs began to expand out um, they uh, started utilizing upgraded e, e versions E9s which did have the generating capacity so uh, with that the uh, generator cars which were converted baggage cars went by the wayside and here it is arriving now And this would have been the express mail from downtown Chicago out to the western suburbs of Downers Grove. And it would continue on all the way uh, after 1957, all the way out to, uh, or 1959, excuse me, all the way out to Aurora. And there she goes. That was the uh, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy uh, dinky commuter train uh, with a baggage car, and uh, it happened to uh, drop off this box. And uh, this box is nothing new either, it uh, or nothing elaborate. It is basically a rheostat switch. And what this will be for, it will allow me to control power, all right, turn power off and on over here for when I put the trolley system on in the uh, Chicago uh, scene around Union Station. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start using, and I'll have a, a something else, which I think came in the mail as well, uh, to toggle back and forth from DC to DCC, something. Anyway, uh, got this and uh, more parts. Is that another train coming? I believe it is. Right. 
Put it up for that box right there. What do we got coming in now? Now arriving inbound from the Pacific Northwest uh, via Minneapolis is the uh, Northern Pacific's North Coast Limited, which was commonly uh, combined in Minneapolis with the Great Northern's Empire Builder. Alright, let's see what kind of mail we have coming in from the Pacific Northwest. Got it unloaded, away she goes. Well, it's the North Coast Limited again from Seattle. Uh, and uh, uh, as we've discussed before, North Coast Limited comes in uh, on the uh, Northern Pacific Line uh, via Minneapolis. And then uh, uh, it's another one of those revenue sharing because the uh, uh, Northern Pacific didn't have uh, any tracks from Minneapolis to Chicago. So, again, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, uh, we would let them use their tracks. Or a lot of times, again, like the Chicago Northwestern with the Union Pacific, the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy would uh, have the motive power between uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Chicago. So, we have here, here's that toggle switch, okay? Uh, this will allow me at the uh, Union Station scene to switch back and forth from DC to DCC on the trolley line, much like I set up on my test track. All right, man, that's great. Wait, is that another train coming? Coming in is the overnight from Minneapolis, uh, the Burlington uh, Blackhawk.
Alright, let's get that mail unloaded. stopped in uh, and uh, Chicago Burl the Burlington Blackhawk uh, and that's another train that ran between um, Minneapolis St. Paul and Chicago and uh, uh, you know oftentimes the uh, and this package by the way is uh, also from Seattle now why didn't they both come in on the uh, North Coast Limit well the Empire Builder got into Minneapolis for the North Coast Limited. So it transferred its mail on over to uh, Burlington and the Burlington Blackhawk uh, uh, was loaded and brought it back into Chicago. The North Coast Limited beat it because it was a faster train. But anyway, that's here nor there. All right. uh, got me a Loconet cable. Actually, it's just a six wire telephone cable. Um, and it's not that I need it right now just so I have it, okay? All right, wait, is that another train? I think it is. Like the New York Central's uh, 20th Century Limited and the Baltimore and Ohio uh, Capital Limited, Capital City Limited, the Pennsylvania Railroad, or Pincy, also had a uh, uh, train ran between New York City and Chicago, linking at the, at the time two largest cities in the country. Uh, the uh, uh, Pincy's uh, most famous of those trains was the Broadway Limited. So let's take a look. Uh, Broadway Limited is inbound. There it is, pull it in. Well, I wonder what kind of mail and where it's from on the uh, Broadway Limited. Railroad, uh, Pensy, uh, had the uh, Broadway Limited, ran from New York to uh, uh, New York City to Chicago, and uh, uh, it brought in some mail, and let's see what we got. Ah, we got some parts. I've got a uh, uh, bathroom ready to roll dash nine where the uh, uh, yoke and drive shaft uh, for the rear power trucks uh, isn't working right. What it is is the yoke and the drive shaft isn't snapping, staying snapped in, so it loses power and makes a grinding noise and, and whatever. So I had ordered uh, some yokes and some uh, dog bone drive shafts. 
So, got those. Now, you know, uh, earlier in the week, uh, actually Sunday, my train crew, John Lent, came by. And uh, uh, it was kind of sad, but glad. Uh, John is uh, moving uh, from St. Petersburg uh, to uh, Tennessee. And uh, so that was our last uh, uh, scheduled. I'm still going to try to talk him into another one. Uh, running session this last Sunday. Well, you know, I've given some things to John over, over the last uh, few months. He's given me a lot of things over the last few months. And he brought uh, some stuff, special delivery for me. So he uh, lives over near uh, Zitnik uh, Trains in uh, St. Petersburg and uh, uh, picked up a uh, Burlington RPO and uh, IHC RPO, Railroad Post Office, and Burlington Baggage Car. So these will be uh, the beginnings of yet another uh, Zephyr. Uh, also, he picked up a Burlington Northern uh, coach. Now, I'll have to re-letter that one, which is no problem. I have the decals already. And in addition to those things, he also brought me some castings uh, of the little uh, yellow trucks, panel uh, trucks, for my junkyard, for Woody's. Okay? And they have, the kit comes with uh, tires and everything, but since they're going to go into the junkyard, I'll have the tires laying around separately. So, got these two. But that's not all. Um, week before, John had asked uh, if I had any app advisors, because we were working on uh, a few things. And um, now I can't find everything. There they are. Uh, so he had an extra set of optimizers and uh, brought me a pair along with extra lenses, different powers. Uh, and uh, so I got these, I got optimizers now. It's the, and I need them. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, I want to uh, extend my uh, best wishes to John and uh, his new endeavors in Tennessee. He may think he's moving away and get away from me, but he'll only be about an hour or so away from my uh, uh, son. So I'm sure uh, I'll be visiting uh, uh, John and, and uh, his new layout uh, over the next few years as well. So with that, that's uh, uh, quite a bit of a mail call this week. And uh, so I want to thank you for joining me here at the Retirement Railroad. I'm Steve. And y'all have a great day. Bye now.